In this Adobe Premiere tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can import multiple image sequences that you exported from Maya, make them into video clips, and then edit those video clips into an animation sequence. We also want to add sound effects and music. It's important to make sure that we have the proper license and usage rights for any sound effects and music that we use. Luckily, there are a number of great resources online. Adobe offers lots of free sound effects with Adobe Audition. You can go to this URL that I've pasted in the video description, and we have all of these sound effects that you can use for commercial uses. You don't even have to add attribution. This is really great. The only thing you can't do is distribute just these sound effects as your own. You have to use them in a creative project. So I'm going to go ahead and download some of these sound effects. I'm going to download the liquid and water one. It'll download a zip file that will have all of these files in it. I'm also going to download uh, the ambiance one right here. So I'll download ambiance. The ambiance is good because scenes are never 100% quiet. So you may just want some background noise that you can put in at a low volume. When these download, there will be zip files in your downloads folder and you'll need to unzip them. Here I have the two files. So if I double click on these, they'll unzip and I'll have a folder of the sound effects. Now these are both unzipped, and if I look inside, I can find lots of different sound effects, and I can listen to them in an audio player and find out which ones that I like. I'm gonna select this liquid water marble dropping into water in a plastic tub number eight. There are so many different sounds. You can play it right here. It's important that we now copy this sound into our Premiere project folder. So I'm going to press Control C on a PC, Command C on a Mac, copy that. Then I'm going to go to my Premiere Project folder. Here I have a Premiere Project folder that already has a Premiere Project in it. It's important that you keep your Premiere Project file and all the assets in this folder. So I'm going to paste this liquid water marble sound effect inside my Project folder. I still have the other folder of all the other sound effects and I can keep that in my resources folder for use in other projects. Now I'm going to go get a sound effect for ambiance. So back in my downloads folder I'll twirl out ambiance and let's see what we have here. We have vans driving in lanes, traffic intersections, all kinds of different things that we can use. Uh, I think I'm going to look for something a little bit more, let's see what this uh, grocery store entrance exterior sounds like. That seems perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that by pressing Control C or Command C, and then I will go to my project folder. Here in my project folder, I'm going to press Control V or Command V to paste it. So now I have these two sound effect files in my folder. Next, I need to get some music. There are lots of places to get music, but a really great and well-known one is Kevin MacLeod. He has all kinds of searchable music that you can use for free, but you must give attribution. If you want a more extended license, you can pay a very reasonable 20 euro fee to have a license that you can use um, on your projects. But these are free to use for commercial purposes. We can use the length search, we can use the moods, so we can say epic and dramatic, and we can see uh, what pops up. So we can search now and see what happens with Epic. So then we can see all of these different files and we can play them and see. So I'm gonna download this undaunted file here. So if you click on download, it's gonna show you the license. Again, you can pay a very reasonable 20 euros for an extended license, but you are allowed to use it commercially with a free license. You only get an MP3 version, but that's good enough for our uh, practice projects. But you must give it attribution, and I'll show you how to do that. So we'll select Choose Free License. You may have to register. If you do, you can go ahead and register. Once you're registered, you'll have to accept the terms of your license. And this is very important. You need to attribute the original artist. This is super important. It can't be more clear. You must do this. So the best way to do this is, I like to take a screenshot of the page for my records. 
That way I know where the sound came from. And I'll put that screenshot right in my Premiere Project folder. So here's the screenshot of that. I'll also save this as a text file within my Premiere Project folder so I have a reference to where I got this. That way I can easily paste this into the credits of my video and the YouTube description. So I have this copied and I'll save that in a text file. Here I have it in a text file and I'll save that in my project folder. So now I have music credits as a text file in my animation project, Premiere Project folder for reference. Once I've saved the credits in a text file, then I'll click Download Now. When it downloads, it will be in my Downloads folder. Here you can see in my Downloads folder, I now have this MP3, but it doesn't help me to be in the Downloads folder. I need it to be in my Premiere Project folder. So I'll press Control-C or Command-C to copy it. Then in my Project folder, I'll press Control-V or Command-V to paste it in. So now I have my music credits, my music, my ambient sound, and my sound effects. The last thing to get into my project folder are my image sequences, and I can get them from my Maya project folder. Here in my Maya project folder, I have the standard workspace setup. If I twirl out the images folder, you'll see your temporary directory. You may have some folders of images in the temporary directory because that's where things will be saved by default. Here in my final render folder, I have all of my cameras. I can either copy the final render folder or each of these camera folders individually. I think I'm just going to bring over the folders for this project. So I'll select them all, press Control C or Command C to copy them. Now I'm back in my Premiere project folder and I'll press Control V or Command V to paste. Now I've done all the setup. I have my images in my Premiere project folder. I have the music and sound effects in my Premiere project folder, and I have the music credits. Now I'm ready to put it all together into an edited sequence in Premiere.